Hello everyone, this is Jig, and I was watching Seth Bling's video on sand cannons, and I figured why not make an adjustable one. So I did, and this actually can work with regular cannons, I'm not sure why I haven't seen one built before. So let's say, these are all the different targets, this is how far they can shoot, it goes up to 5. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Now 4 and 5 aren't really far apart. But anyway, let's say we want to get to the third one. You press this button three times. Each time, it'll increase this by one. So now we're on three. And then we fire the cannon. It's going to shoot our sand cannonball all the way over to the third one. Now it's pretty reliable and always ends up on the middle spot. Uh, very consistently, actually. So far, it hasn't missed a beat. Now, what you could also do uh, is set up some sort of redstone at the location. And this is essentially a wireless redstone solution. And you can use multiple channels with this depending on, you know, how far the, uh, what button you press. So now, let's say I want to send a signal to channel number two, because I just set that up. You can see the redstone torch is on. When I send out the signal, or oh, I should probably load the cannon first. When I send the cannonball signal, I was going to two, right? Yeah, one, two, okay. So we'll shoot this off, and it should shoot and land right on there. And you can see the block fell into place, activated this redstone, turned the redstone torch off. It's awesome. Uh, the way it works, it's pretty simple actually. Uh, it's just, it's got uh, one of Minecraft Addict's conditional iris null latches down below there. And each time you press the increase button, it pushes uh, one, of the T one of the TNT blocks into place. Now, this can only shoot four because the way I've got the display, the sand only falls down. I mean, you could put in some complex uh, piston TNT array here so you could have a a lot more than just this many TNT shots but this is good enough for the basic demonstration so we'll put the sand there and watch when I increase it by one whoop, that light goes on and it pushes the first TNT block in we increase it again second third fourth fifth and that's pretty much all there is to it uh, now it is made so it can go down as well however it's not working just because the way I have the magazine set up uh, if I wanted to make it go down I would probably just put a row of sticky pistons here and have the TNT go out or in uh, right here and then feed the TNT in here but again because of the way I put the display up that won't work that way but maybe I'll do an update video later uh, for something else. So now it's all the way charged up. We'll shoot our last one and see if we can catch it at the other end. Go, 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 go. Ah! Oh well. Anyway, thanks for watching and uh, I hope you were able to learn something. If not, then I hope it was at least a little bit entertaining. Uh, stay tuned to my channel for more stuff. Bye!